So essentially, you know, you're actually cleaning out the bad cells, feeding them to the good ones in your body, giving your body a dose of the preferred fuel for your colon, preventing colon cancer, right, from some conclusions of some studies. And at the same time, you're taking stress off of your digestive system. At the same time, you're helping yourself get more shredded. So some good benefits right there, but I'm not done yet. <laughs> so, hey there, my name is Anthony Romano, and I'm going to tell you in this video why a cup of bulletproof coffee a day will make you live longer and get you shredded. Whichever one's more important, <laughs> that's up to you. <laughs> Okay, so why is a cup of bulletproof coffee every day going to make you live longer and more shredded? <laughs> Here's why, and I'm going to tell you six reasons that will actually play into both of those goals. Most of those reasons are going to revolve around either your brain health or your digestive health. So two very important systems in the body to look out for. They actually say the gut is like the second brain. So your brains, both of your brains. <laughs> well, actually, there's a couple brains up there. But the one thing I want to say before I get into this is that no matter what you like to eat or not, this is something you should implement into your lifestyle because this is not just for people doing keto stuff. This is seriously, like I'm at a point now where I am fully convinced that this is a seriously beneficial health practice. And it, I'm going to get into the reasons why. But I don't want you to think that if you're not somebody who is a keto person or something, that you can't do this because you can. You can use this and it's a very beneficial health strategy. Okay, so I'll get into these reasons. But before I do that, I just want to explain what Bulletproof Coffee actually is in case there's anybody watching this who doesn't know. So bulletproof coffee is, you know, coffee, preferably from good quality source, good quality beans, not like instant coffee and stuff like that. And then you add in basically MCT oil and grass fed ghee, okay? Or grass fed butter, but ghee is better because it's clarified and it removes other milk proteins that people might be allergic to, like casein, lactose. Essentially, anybody can digest ghee and it is higher in the beneficial ingredients I'm going to explain momentarily. But that is the composition of Bulletproof Coffee. You have coffee, MCT oil, and ghee. Now, one thing I want to say before I get into this last thing is prioritize good quality MCT oil. I actually use the MCT oil from the guy who created Bulletproof Coffee, right, Dave Asprey. It's called Brain Octane Oil because, first of all, I've read a lot of sources and I've you know, tried about every MCT product you can get. And this one is hands down the best because it simply uses the best MCT, which is caprylic acid. So other MCTs will kind of skimp out and they'll just write MCT oil to make a buck off of you, but they're using the lower quality MCTs, particularly lauric acid. That's what you want to avoid in your MCT. But the more C8, so caprylic acid you see in an MCT product, the better. But my personal preference is this one because it's entirely that high quality MCT caprylic acid. And the reason they call it brain octane is because that MCT produces immediate fuel for your brain in the form of ketones. So essentially it sends a shock wave of ketones immediately to your brain. So that's the wrap up of the recap of what Bulletproof Coffee is. Now there are other things you can add in there, right? Which I'll give you some, uh, some of my insider tips from, you know, eight years of keto dieting because I found some extra little bonuses to throw in there. But let's get into the reasons, okay? So the reasons why you want to have a bulletproof coffee every day is number one, 
butyric acid. So, butyrate, okay? What happens is when you have ghee, so grass-fed ghee, you know, I could have thrown the basic reasons everybody else throws at you, that it's high in the fat-soluble vitamins, right? A, E, D, and K. These are very beneficial vitamins, but something that gets overlooked is butyrate. So butyrate is actually what feeds the beneficial bacteria in your colon. And essentially, it's an integral part of gut health. And for a lot of people, they're completely unaware of the link between the microbiome of your gut and your brain. So whenever you eat fiber, right, a certain fiber that ferments in your stomach, it will create butyrate. At least that's what it wants to do. That's what your stomach would prefer. It, butyrate is essentially the preferred fuel for your colon. Now, if people have like colon cancer or something, ironically, their colon will prefer to use glucose, so sugar, as the fuel, especially the cancer cells in the colon. And there's been studies, right, which I could maybe post a picture of if I still have it on my computer, but you can Google this too, that butyrate inhibits carcinogenesis and it essentially stops the colon cells from preferring glucose as well, which may be linked to that, but that's more skeptical there. Uh, but essentially, it inhibits carcinogenesis, so cancer causing in the colon. This is hugely beneficial for your gut health and essentially, this is the preferred fuel of your colon. Your prefer the preferred fuel is butyrate, which is butyric acid, which would be found in grass-fed ghee. Now, this is not even counting the fat-soluble vitamins and other beneficial ingredients of grass-fed ghee, but butyrate is so important, and essentially, this is also why people will give you know credit to fiber, but essentially, it's butyrate that is the, you know, the thing that's actually doing the work here as far as keeping your colon healthy and your gut, your microbiome healthy, okay? So that's number one. It's going to play into digestive health. There are some other reasons I'm going to explain. And also, butyrate is beneficial for appetite. This is also why it will make you shred it in certain ways. But it's an essential component of our gut environment. Reason number two, autophagy. You may have heard about autophagy. Autophagy is the process of cellular cleansing. Now, this one's kind of an indirect reason, but here's how it works. Autophagy is cellular cleansing, where basically your body starts feeding its weaker cells to its stronger cells, okay? And this is initiated after, at the minimum, a 16 to 18 hour fast. Now you're very, very just scratching the surface of autophagy at this point, right? By the way, autophagy means self-eating in Greek. So that's essentially what it is. So you have to fast for at least that amount of time before your body starts getting the signal that it should start eating its weaker cells and cleaning everything out. But you can extend this by fasting longer. And one way that makes fasting longer ridiculously easy is fat fasting, okay? I have a video on this and it's one of my personal favorite ways for accelerating fat loss actually because it essentially allows you to trick your body into receiving <laughs> a calorie intake right to basically trick your body into thinking it's full because there's fat p passing through your digestive system but because fat doesn't spike your insulin it's basically not going to turn off the fasted state especially if you use these particular ingredients i was talking about part of the reason as well you don't want to just be throwing in a coconut oil or something is because you want as most distilled oils as you can and this will essentially bypass, you know, triggering any, any reason to break the fasted state in your body. There's been studies on this. Dave Asprey's kind of, you know, played around with that as, so that he could be sure he could market his product that way. And it makes sense. But essentially, via fat fasting, which Bulletproof Coffee is essentially the best way to do that, there are other ways to do it with fatty snacks, right? So watch that video on fat fasting. But if you even use a Bulletproof Coffee to extend a fast, even on an intermittent level, right? you can be increasing autophagy and you'll find the more you do consume bulletproof coffees your appetite will go down which will of course be great for getting shredded but at the same time this will help you play into a longer fast without really any effort being put into that and essentially you're extending how close you're dabbling in autophagy land okay even if you go for a dip in the pool and you're not in the deep end going for a dip every day is going to build up, okay? And these benefits of cellular cleansing are going to play out dramatically. They say, if you take care of your gut for the first 50 years of your life, it will take care of you. So I'm not 50 yet, but maybe somebody test that out. <laughs> this will definitely play into it. And by the way, links to all these products in the description because I have my affiliate links for these things on Amazon. And essentially, 
I only post affiliate links to products that I truly believe in. And I, I'm very critical of these products. I've worked in supplement industry for years and I've also experimented with a lot of these firsthand. So I will tell you that I will only recommend the products I actually enjoy and use myself. So links in the description, if you click them and purchase through there, it will support me. But, so thank you for that. But let's move on. So we have autophagy and another byproduct of this is that when you are fasting longer, right, due to fat fasting, right, because that's essentially the main reason here, is first of all, you're getting a direct, these are where the, the synergy effects come in. You're directly feeding your gut bacteria the butyric acid I was talking about, the butyrate, because you're having it on an empty stomach, right? So there's no other food that this has to pass through. And also, what you're doing is you're taking stress off of your digestive system. Essentially, there's been numbers thrown around that about 20% of your daily energy goes into digestive operations. So essentially, if you can fast longer or simply throw in a very beneficial compound for your gut, what you're going to be doing is taking a lot of stress off of your digestive system. And basically, this gives you at least 20% more energy each day. Okay. Of course, you can accomplish this through regular fasting, but fat fasting and consuming bulletproof coffee will inherently reduce your hunger. It will make you less hungry for the few hours after you consume this, maybe even longer than that. So essentially, you know, you're actually cleaning out the bad cells, feeding them to the good ones in your body, giving your body a dose of the preferred fuel for your colon, preventing colon cancer, right, from some conclusions of some studies. And at the same time, you're taking stress off of your digestive system. At the same time, you're helping yourself get more shredded. So some good benefits right there, but I'm not done yet. <laughs> so these are more ketogenic benefits I'm about to throw at you now. So even if you're not somebody who does a keto diet or anything like that, you know, consuming this will put you in a state of ketosis. This is another reason why, you know, the Bulletproof brand of MCT oil is, you know, uh, something I'm recommending here over standard MCT oil because it uses C8 caprylic acid, which immediately turns into usable ketones for the brain. So you're getting a deeper ketone boost out of this product than other regular MCTs or coconut oil. So essentially, because you can get into a deeper state of ketosis from that particular MCT and MCTs in general, right? What you're going to achieve is smoother brain function and less oxidative stress. So essentially, when you are running on a ketogenic state, your cells and your mitochondria are not having to create cellular waste. So if I threw up a picture of the citric acid cycle here, the Krebs cycle, which I don't know if I did or not, depending on how I felt at the moment, but you can Google this thing, this, these things. The Krebs cycle, when it's so the energy production cycle in your body, when it's running on carbs, it has to convert the carbs into pyruvate before it can be used as fuel. So any excess gets wasted and just causes oxidative stress, right? It causes a buildup of extra waste that your body's going to have to put energy into to get rid of. So when your body is running on ketosis, it does not create any extra waste. And you can Google this. This isn't just like, you know, mumbo jumbo, uh, I'm trying to pull you into my keto cult, okay? That's not what I'm doing. It's a much smoother energy production system because you're not creating waste and everything gets used efficiently. This is also why I talk about keto a lot and how it's our default metabolism because the reason why we store fat seemingly endlessly, the reason why our brain is made almost entirely of fat is because our body prefers fat as the dominant fuel source. Okay, it's meant to be our default fuel source and carbs are luxury fuels. There's nothing wrong with consuming carbs, but there was no human society before like, you know, the agricultural revolution that lived off of carbohydrates year round. There may have been some, you know, fermented over time if you lived in tropical areas, etc. but carbohydrates are not something we're meant to be having all the time. It's like a car. If your body was a car, carbs are nitric oxide, right? gasoline is fatty acids. It's uh, the higher octane fat gasoline too, by the way. So you're getting nine calories per gram of, so more energy per one gram of fat and four calories per gram of carb. So essentially you have more than double the fuel source with fat. This is why your body prefers fat. It is literally, you're getting more energy and you're also preventing waste from that. So you're also reducing the requirement to synthesize that energy. So Essentially, less oxidative stress 
is what I'm getting at here. I just started to explain the proof of that, <laughs> but hopefully it wasn't too derivative. Either way, this is fuel that's going directly to your brain, and it's fuel that comes at little cost. There's no cost at all, actually. Everything is a smooth process because your brain is running on fat as it would prefer, or at least, you know, as it would do by default, because prefer is kind of like a, you know, qualitative assessment I'm putting on that. But can you tell that I've had too much Bulletproof coffee today? <laughs> Maybe, but I bet you can't find a point where I stuttered in this video, or at least, you know, threw out some ums, which is a line that, funny enough, Dave Asprey has thrown out before. Either way, these are the reasons, okay? So you're taking the stress off of your digestive system. You're feeding your gut bacteria exactly what it prefers, which is butyric acid butyrate. By doing this, you also can create autophagy if you use it in a fat fast. By fat fasting, you can burn more fat, okay? Because you're tricking your body into a longer fasted state, basically sneaking by and squeezing in some calories without triggering the alarm for you know, we're out of the fasted state in your body. And overall, MCTs like this are beneficial for your brain and the reduction of cellular waste is protective for the body and brain and your mitochondria, which are, you know, everybody learned in grade nine science class that they're the powerhouse of your cells. And this is essentially how the citric acid cycle works because it's how your mitochondria produces ATP. So these are the reasons why you should have a bulletproof coffee every single day. And I'm gonna give you one more free one, just because this is something that came off the top of my head. <laughs> when you have grass-fed ghee, which, you know, you don't necessarily need to have bulletproof coffee to achieve <laughs> the consumption of grass-fed ghee, but I don't really know anybody who's taken down tablespoons of grass-fed ghee every day, unless they're putting it in a coffee. When you have grass-fed ghee, you are going to be increasing your production of large, buoyant LDL cholesterol. Now. Don't be worried just because I threw out the term LDL cholesterol. There's the type of LDL cholesterol that's, you know, something that you want to avoid and don't that actually creates atherosclerotic plaque is the small density LDL, okay? This is the one that actually builds up in your vessels and essentially causes cardiovascular problems. Large buoyant LDL cholesterol is actually like a beneficial bodyguard for your cardiovascular system, your respiratory system, tr production of essentially carrying fats, okay, and carrying cholesterol. So large buoyant LDL is a bodyguard that goes around eliminating pathogens, okay? It goes through your bloodstream and eliminates the things you don't want, and it also has never been shown to cause atherosclerotic plaque. It's actually something that is beneficial entirely and it's associated with longevity. So because the focus of this video was geared towards longevity, I felt compelled to throw this in at the end. But a great way to get it is from grass-fed ghee. And unless you wanna just start having tablespoons of that every day, maybe throw it into some bulletproof coffee. Makes it a lot easier. And I'm telling you, if you think ghee is gonna be funky to throw into coffee, um, when you blend it up, it just adds like a, a thick and thickening richness to a beverage okay so it's not as i guess rich or unbearable as you might think it is but it simply adds a thickness in kind of a you know bland taste like no extra taste or anything okay so it increases the beneficial cholesterol or at least one of them because studies all show hdl is beneficial if you want to watch my other videos on cholesterol, watch them. But essentially, large buoyant LDL is a type of cholesterol that you would want to increase as long as your small density LDL is low, which it should be, and grass-fed ghee will not risk increasing at all. But this is also partly why I feel it's very beneficial for avoiding colds, okay? I feel it's very beneficial for avoiding flus and all that type of stuff, and I haven't been sick in a couple years, but I know some people who have done this longer, and essentially, because it can feed the beneficial bacteria in your gut, and also because it increases this large density bodyguard cholesterol, you're basically preventing <laughs> pathogens from surviving when they enter your bloodstream. And even if they do make it down to your digestive system, in the first place, they're, gonna get, they're not going to be able to thrive, okay? These negative bacteria, because you're building up this positive 
beneficial bacteria. And you know what? Just because this video is already 20 minutes anyways, I'm going to throw in two little tips that I do because I guarantee you haven't heard these tips in a Bulletproof Coffee or a Keto video. But other things I like to throw into my Bulletproof Coffee are chocamine, okay? Chocamine and, you know, some sort of prebiotic fiber, okay? So funny enough, the chocamine idea, I had gotten from these guys, okay? The guys from the Biohacker's Handbook, which is basically a bunch of <laughs> doctors from and technology experts from Finland. These guys are the real deal. But chocamine is all the beneficial compounds that are normally within chocolate. So the polyphenols, there's also theobromine, and there's also a little bit of tapio but tapioca extract. There's the first letter. <laughs> you win. Tapioca extract, which is, you know, can raise your blood sugar, but there's only 2%, and it's just a little bit of extra prebiotic gut fuel, so food for your gut, the beneficial bacteria, like an inulin, oligosaccharide type of thing. But overall, naturally sweetened, there's no sugar, no calories, no carbs, it tastes like chocolate without any of the things you want to avoid from chocolate, and it's all the polyphenols that naturally occur in chocolate. And I mean here, I'll give you a quick little look there too, just because, you know, this stuff is just fun, you know. Chocolate powder is what it looks like. And that's what it tastes like too. So I'll have a link to this in the description as well, just because I freaking love this stuff and I'm gonna be making more videos about this. I've never seen anybody besides the Biohackers Handbook guys even mention, you know, chocamine. So this is something I really enjoy and it complements Bulletproof Coffee very well. And, you know, naturally sweetened, I'm very critical of all that type of stuff in supplements, supplemental powders. And it's pretty inexpensive as well. Another thing too is some sort of, you know, inulin or prebiotic. Dave Asprey from Bulletproof calls it Inner Fuel is the product he makes for that one, but I haven't used that one personally. So not gonna make any recommendations on that one yet, but I've used this one before and it's chocolate flavored, naturally sweetened, essentially. What you could get in this type of a thing, right? Even, you know, maybe I'll have a link to this one too, but the general idea, because I just like this particular one because it has a combination effect, but you have essentially a couple mushroom extracts, so cordyceps, reishi, and uh, is there lion's mane here? No, no lion's mane. But you also have GLA, which is gamma linoleic acid, very beneficial fatty acid. And you also have some inulin fiber, some other resistant starches, essentially other ingredients to boost that gut bacteria, right? The theory is that you're consuming this on an empty stomach, so, you know, you're accessing the gut microbiota right away, essentially. So there's other beneficial compounds, but the ones I prefer it really is chocamine in addition to the regular bulletproof ingredients. Look into other prebiotics that you can put in there because some of them taste pretty funky. But besides that, thank you for watching this video. If you were interested in keto coaching, go to my website, romanoketo.com. I'm even doing consulting calls now instead of just you know people who don't want coaching 24 seven. And I'm also going to be doing group coaching. So message me on Instagram if you're interested in that as well. And I'll add you to a list because I'm going to have a page up soon where basically you can access, you know, the enrollment to group coaching. Basically at a cheaper cost, people who don't need as much one-on-one -on -one coaching. But it's a group setting. People of all different goals revolving keto. You can learn from everybody at the same time as I direct a weekly or bi-weekly coaching call. So besides that, that's it for the video. Follow my Instagram, AnthonyRomano7, and like the video. Comment if you would like me to answer some questions for you because, you know, I make these videos for people like you who make it to the end of a video that's 22 minutes long. So essentially, if you have a question you'd like me to answer, leave it. Also, if it's a common question, maybe I have a link that already answers it in the description, so check that out. That's it. Anthony Romano, peace.